The CJ-1000 Chinese long-range hypersonic cruise missile represents a new class of precision strike capability for the People's Liberation Army Rocket Force. It is designed to penetrate advanced air defense systems and serves as a successor to the DF-100 cruise missile. The CJ-1000 is reported to be China's first scramjet-powered hypersonic cruise missile. A scramjet, or supersonic combustion ramjet, is an air-breathing jet engine that achieves hypersonic flight by combusting fuel in a supersonic airflow. The CJ-1000 stands out because it appears intended to destroy aircraft in flight. Hypersonic weapons travel at more than five times the speed of sound, making them extremely difficult to intercept. While many countries are developing such systems, most are designed to strike ground or naval targets. The CJ-1000 stands out because it appears intended to destroy aircraft in flight. China has long excelled in missile development, and the newly unveiled CJ-1000 hypersonic cruise missile is an upgraded version of the CJ-100. According to Chinese military analysts, it boasts at least three major improvements, an extended strike range of up to 5,000 kilometers, a flight speed exceeding Mach 5, and a shift from angle to vertical launch. Its hypersonic capabilities make it almost impossible to intercept, posing a significant threat to the second island chain in Guam. Ground cruise missile designed for ultra-long range strikes could hit enemy targets from thousands of kilometers away. Amid the roar of China's military parade on September 3, a few trucks rolled through Tiananmen Square with camouflaged loads tagged CJ-1000. The event featured over 10,000 troops, more than 100 aircraft, and hundreds of armored vehicles. The parade ended with fighter jets streaming colored smoke before 80,000 doves and balloons were released over the capital. But beyond the spectacle, one system in particular caught global attention, the CJ-1000, also called the Long Sword 1000. The CJ-1000 was paraded on trucks bearing its designation, drawing immediate interest. According to Global Times, it is a surface-launched hypersonic cruise missile. The trucks were hauling surface-launched hypersonic cruise missiles also known as Long Sword 1000s weapons designed for ultra-long-range strikes on system node targets on the ground, at sea, or in the air, according to Chinese state media. China has not officially disclosed the detailed specifications of the CJ-1000. Hypersonic weapons travel at more than five times the speed of sound, making them extremely difficult to intercept. While many countries are developing such systems, most are designed to strike ground or naval targets. The CJ-1000 stands out because it appears intended to destroy aircraft in flight. Fly at speeds above Mach 5, reach targets more than 6,000 kilometers away, well beyond the range of most existing surface-to-air missiles. Be aimed at large, slow-moving support aircraft such as aerial refueling tankers, airborne early warning and control planes, reconnaissance and surveillance platforms. These aircraft are crucial to modern military operations, providing refueling, surveillance, and command support. Experts note that disabling them could paralyze an entire air campaign even without engaging fighter jets directly. For decades, countries like the United States have operated support aircraft from secure bases far from the battlefield, such as Hawaii. Conventional air defense systems cannot reach those distances. If the CJ-1000 works as suggested, that safe zone may no longer exist. At hypersonic speeds, the missile would give targets little time to react. Its scramjet engine could also make it hard to track with current warning systems. As a hypersonic weapon, the CJ-1000 is engineered for high maneuverability and flies at speeds that make it challenging for current missile defense technologies to intercept. Its primary characteristics include strong penetration capabilities and the ability to be launched rapidly, enabling timely strikes against high-value targets on land and at sea. The missile's primary mission appears to be engaging key nodes in an opponent's defense network. In contrast to traditional ballistic missiles that follow a largely predictable trajectory, hypersonic cruise missiles travel at extreme speeds within the atmosphere and can change course during flight. This combination of speed and maneuverability poses a significant challenge for radar tracking and defensive systems. The CJ-1000 could represent a major shift in how wars are fought, putting aircraft once considered untouchable within range of Chinese missiles. But without official confirmation, it remains unclear how close China is to fielding such a system. China has long excelled in missile development, and the newly unveiled CJ-1000 hypersonic cruise missile is an upgraded version of the CJ-100. 
According to Chinese military analysts, it boasts at least three major improvements, an extended strike range of up to 5,000 kilometers, a flight speed exceeding Mach 5, and a shift from angle to vertical launch. Its hypersonic capabilities make it almost impossible to intercept, posing a significant threat to the second island chain in Guam. The DF-26D, often dubbed the Carrier Killer, is an upgraded version of the DF-26 missile. It features a new modular warhead, indicating a significant boost in both range and maneuverability. As a dual-capable intermediate-range missile, the DF-26D can strike targets both within and beyond the second island chain, as well as launch precision strikes against large, moving sea targets, making it a new nemesis for aircraft carriers. China's military is growing faster than the West can handle. The rapid growth of the PLA strength is undeniable. Otherwise, the U.S. and its allies would not be so concerned about the shifting political and military landscape in the Asia-Pacific and beyond. The CJ-1000 could represent a major shift in how wars are fought, putting aircraft once considered untouchable within range of Chinese missiles. But without official confirmation, it remains unclear how close China is to fielding such a system. The CJ-1000 is an IRBM to ICBM range-class hypersonic cruise missile developed by China. It is designed to operate at hypersonic speeds with a range capability that places it between intermediate-range ballistic missiles and intercontinental ballistic missiles. Specifically, the CJ-1000 is described as a hypersonic cruise missile capable of IRBM to ICBM range, meaning it could likely have a range in the thousands of kilometers suitable for strategic long-range strike capability. It is part of China's advanced missile developments aimed at creating weapons with high speed, maneuverability, and difficulty to intercept, leveraging hypersonic technology. While many countries are developing such systems, most are designed to strike ground or naval targets. The CJ-1000 stands out because it appears intended to destroy aircraft in flight. China has long excelled in missile development, and the newly unveiled CJ-1000 hypersonic cruise missile is an upgraded version of the CJ-100. According to Chinese military analysts, it boasts at least three major improvements. An extended strike range of up to 5,000 kilometers, a flight speed exceeding Mach 5, and a shift from angle to vertical launch.